So copycat Kamala plagiarizing President Trump's hottest tax cut. That's the subject of the riff. That's right, copycat Kamala. She is plagiarizing Donald Trump's idea for tax-free tips for waiters, maitre d's, barbers, delivery people, Uber drivers, the whole gig economy. Mr. Trump unveiled his idea last June in Las Vegas. Kamala did it Saturday, also in Las Vegas. Who do you believe? Who do you trust? Well, here's a key point. If Kamala really was going to exempt taxes on tips, why, then, she would have already exempted the taxes on tips. If she was going to do it, then she would have already done it. After all, last February 6, 2023, the Treasury and the IRS issued something called Notice 2023-13, which contained a proposed revenue procedure that would establish the Service Industry Tip Compliance Agreement, SITCA program. Whew. The lead bullet was, and I'm going to quote, the monitoring of employer compliance based on actual annual tip revenue and charge tip data from an employer's point of sale system, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. Look, the IRS is inside the Treasury, and the Treasury is inside the Biden-Harris executive branch presidency. So if she wants to exempt tips or even pull back on chasing waitresses or other self-employed workers... She could have pulled back and gotten rid of this noxious regulation. A little more than a year earlier, Ms. Harris cast a tie-breaking vote on the misnamed Inflation Reduction Act. That authored $80 billion so the IRS could add 87,000 new agents. This was billed as soak the rich. In fact, however, down through the years... These programs always really soak the waitress at your favorite diner or soak your DoorDash delivery person who gets your food. This story is why Kamala's so-called move to the center is nothing but bait and switch. It's really phony baloney. I don't mean it to be personal, but I'm basing it on, shall we say, policy contradictions. It's really a lot like a ban on fracking. Oh, wait a second. She's not in favor of a ban on fracking. But if she weren't for the ban on fracking, then why, as Joe Biden's co-pilot for three and a half years, why didn't she approve the XL pipeline? Fracking drilling in Alaska's Anwar or the National Petroleum Reserve or stall leasing for public lands or totally minuscule leases in the Gulf of Mexico or banning new LNG export terminals. Because all that is the Biden-Harris war on fossil fuels and their manic pursuit of climate change and EV mandates, which really amounts to something pretty close to a ban on fracking, wouldn't you say? So back to paying taxes on tips. Well, tipped employees are required to pay both federal income taxes and payroll taxes on the tips they receive. The Heritage Foundation writes that workers report tips to their bosses, who then pay the 15.3% payroll tax to the IRS on the employee's behalf and then adjust worker wage withholding to account for the tips. That's quite a burden on your local messenger service. And, of course, Kamala will tell you, nobody under 400000 a year will be affected by her 4 to $5 trillion tax hike. But then again, we can all scratch our heads to figure out how close your local Dunkin' Donuts deliverer is to 400,000. Really? Think he's below 400 grand? Of course he is. Kamala, please stop fibbing to us. Bait and switch is not going to work, ma'am. You know, Mr. Trump cut taxes big time in his first term. He will again if reelected, but you will not. And that's tonight's riff.